All right, Del, let's just talk about the pigs so far as we take a stroll in the park today. Uh, you guys are on a nice little hot streak here. Yeah, you know, we're starting to come together. It's the second month, middle of the second month of the season, and start to learn each other as a lineup, as teammates, and things are working out well so far. Now, you guys seem to be a relatively loose group. Uh, I see you guys joking around a lot before. Uh, uh, how, how, how important is that for a team to, to kind of have that attitude? I think it's great for a team to have that attitude. You spend all year with these guys, more time with them than you normally do your families. So, I mean, to keep the mood light as we're doing it, you know, breaks the monotony of the everyday grind of baseball. Who, uh, and it's okay to admit this, who, who's the biggest goofball you guys have on the team? We have too many to name. I, I wouldn't say there's one. I would say there's a whole handful of us. So, but um, like I said, it keeps the mood light, so it's a good thing. Yesterday, David Herndon uh, let us know, in case, uh, for those that didn't know, that a slingshot is referred to as a male thong. Uh, did, were you aware of that? <laughs> yeah, I've heard that before, but I wasn't too sure uh, he had one. Well, he told us that that was one of the things he had to do through his uh, initiation. Did, did you have to do anything crazy when you uh, broke into the bigs as far as a hazing incident that you'd like to tell us about? Uh, nothing slingshot-wise, but I did have to dress up at the end of the year. My outfit was um, Snow White. I had to dress up as Snow White, but, I mean, it's just a rookie thing at the end of, yeah, at the beginning of September when they come up, they pick a road trip that most of the rookies, or all the rookies dress up as whatever the veterans picked, and that's what I got. You know, Rhino can be a serious guy at times, and he likes to work, but it's nice that he lets you guys kind of be loose. Uh, what's it been like playing for a guy like him? Oh, it's been good. You know, nobody knew what ex his expectations were and how he was going to be. You're going to have to make it right. So, uh, slipping. So, um, yeah, nobody knew what his expectations or really who Rhino was, but, you know, just like the team, we're coming along a month and a half into the year, get to know him more. He's a fiery guy, has passion about the game, and, you know, let you be yourself. So it's a good thing. Um, if we were to have a race on one of these, not you and I, but you and a teammate, who, who do you think would uh, who do you think would be the best on one of these things? Probably one of the shorter guys on the team. I, I like I think I could take Bonine. I actually challenge Bonine right now. I'm calling him out so because he has long legs. I think it'll be hard for him. I'd like to see Bonine and Schwimmer, the two biggest guys on one of these things. Their knees would be wrapped up over the handlebars. I'm gonna go with Schwimmer in that. He's a really competitive kind of guy. So I, I'll take Schwimmer. We'll see how it goes though. All right, Delwin, uh, thanks for joining us this afternoon on a nice stroll. And by the way, I, I want to give us both credit for not going on the grass at all at these. Absolutely. You know, it's just like the highway. you got to stay right here. <laughs> but Rob and Jason. <laughs>